Alright, we are back for round 2 on the draw unfortunately, we, but with a very solid hand that I'm gonna keep. Silver Strike pretty good on the draw, at least better in the draw than, better on the draw than on the, on the play I think. Hermit was a good uh, top deck, as we are playing another blue-green deck, interesting. Daring Thlus, so someone else is doing some uh, clue shenanigans apparently. Alright, interesting. I haven't seen this card in action yet, actually. Um, I guess I'm just gonna play my Hermit. My opponent might have a counter spell, but there's not much I can do. I guess I could play the Companion first because it's a... Yeah, playing Companion first is slightly better because I'd rather have them counter the Companion than the Hermit. But in general... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It might have been slightly better to, to do that. Alright, they have a Sleep Paralysis. I don't mind that being Sleep Paralyzed because the the trigger will still occur if they try to um, to cast something during my turn. So, yeah, it's it's not really a great target to use sleep, sleep Paralysis on, so I don't really mind that happening too much. And actually, Tenacity is great against Sleep Paralysis. At least not great, but you know, I can do something. And also, uh, yeah, I could Tenacity. A, a funny sequence would be uh, me using Tenacity to untap that, and then later on uh, equipping the True Face Sensor and having the thing being a 4 4 Vigilance that doesn't care about the Paralysis. That'd be like really, really funny. Alright, we have a pretty even board there, and I have some sweet Rimvol in my hand, so. I feel fine. I guess the Lent Lighter is gonna attack, which I don't really mind too much. Ooh, a big thing. A snapper. That is slightly annoying. Um. I think I'm gonna bound that to Moon Silver. I can, you know, move my bound uh, around, and I kind of want to be able to attack with Grand Creatures. So, uh, my oven takes six if I do that, and I can keep all Puncturing Light available for their attack during my during their turn. So, I think it's fine. And you know, I, I'm I'm willing to do any type of race with tenacity in my hand. And silver strike, like, yeah. I don't think any race is gonna end up being very good for the open. So here, I could either kill the daring sluice or the lamplighter. I think I'd rather kill lamplighter in general, but eating the sluice is better if they have uh, precisely uh, confront the unknown. So get a clue and plus one plus one. And I think it's you know it's not an easy choice. Because if they do have that, then it's actually no. Even if they, no, even if they have the because of the slurs effect, even if they have the um, yeah, if they do have the plus one plus one, I get blown back either way. So I'm gonna kill the. I mean, attempt to kill the lamp lighter. It might not work out, but uh, hopefully it will. Because this doesn't work because it can flip off the clue and again it's it, after it after that it's four power so not not working for me. Byway courier is slightly annoying but you know beatable. Briar bridge patrol is pretty much the same thing which is slightly an annoying but beatable. I'm pretty far away from having delirium. Don't think I want to trade my companion for either of these. I guess I will attack with the reaper. I kind of want to get used to nasty. My opponent is left with nothing. They could attack with everything. In which case, I would get to eat all of their creature and gain a bunch of life without doing anything. Yeah. And Harvesten is not. Yeah, I think. I mean, it's pretty obvious that I do have something, but I don't know. I feel like my opponent is gonna attack. And also, I I make this flip, which I guess could be relevant at some point. So we'll see what happens. It'd be really fun if they attacked with everything, though. Oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. Let's try to get a bunch of value. Hopefully, I did not top deck or uh, uh, you know 
a counter spell in the meantime. But even if they did, this will still be indestructible. So this is gonna be a blowout, and they are dead on the backswing, I think too. No, just not dead, but in very very bad spot. All right, so let's get rid of this. Yeah, the opponent just conceded. I would have <laughs> went to 23. They would have, you know, get some clues, but yeah. That was a blowout. That was sweet. All right. So blue green value and clue, I guess is the name of my open deck, but they are definitely more aggressive than the first uh first round opponent. Um I haven't seen any enchantment or art. Yeah, there was a sleep paralysis, never mind. So I could root out a sleep paralysis. Since it's in it is a sorcery, it's not so great because the opponent will still uh, get the effect of, um, you know, tap target creature, it doesn't untap. Mm, I don't think there's much I want to change up, honestly. So I showed the tenacity, which I think lowers the, um, you know, the power of that card a lot, because it's so, it's pretty easy to play around. It's still a good, you can also use it offensively. Did they show... Most of the creatures were 3 power or less, I think. Green does tend to have some bigger things, though. Given that I've seen no 4 power or more creature game 1, I think I will cut a Humble the Brute. It might be even wrong to play 2 main deck, actually. And probably add a Strength of Arm. Which is a decent trick. Alright, we'll go with that. Not sure how right it is, but... Yeah, Humble the Brute, I haven't actually played it. I've played against it. It was always fine for my opponent, but... I guess there was some time where my opponent could not cast them, and I wasn't really aware of that, too. Oh, that hand is... Uh... I think you could keep that. I think I will mulligan and hope for a better thing, because this card seems pretty bad. I cannot cast anything uh, on the. Dr <laughs> I just don't think that hand is great. It's not awful, but like I'd rather have this six much better. Yeah, that's much better. All right. All right, island into nothing. Yeah, that six is just ma much better than the last seven. Uh, mulliganing is always a risk, but it's less risky on the draw. And yeah, that seven was seemed just so weak. I don't know. All right, well, that could be a threat, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely a good reason to side back uh, the Humble the Brute <laughs> to deal with the Awakened Horror. But it will require require a bit of work for my opponent, so there is that. <coughs> <coughs> All right, not bad. I think I'm just gonna play Harvest End there because I'm fine trading Harvest End for the Byway Courier. This way, Strength of Arm becomes, uh, you know, puts a token. And I think an equipment onto the battlefield is slightly more valuable than a clue in general. So yeah, this trade is a, is definitely a trade I'm willing to make. As I would not be so happy trading my Hermit for a Byway Courier. That card is great, I love it. Alright, I did not play anything interestingly enough. They could have a counter spell. The counter spell in this, uh, I mean, one of the counter spell, the uh, uh, counter that get re creature removed from the game, which means I don't want to play the the chaplain into that. Now the question is, I think I'm just gonna play. Yeah, I don't think it's very likely that I need strength of arm this turn against the blue green deck, so I'd rather have the ability to cast vessel, especially since yeah they had the counter spell, and I'm glad I did not play my uh, chaplain into that. All right, fine, fine, fine. Things in the ice, thing in the ice, still quite threatening. I do have a, uh, some removal, so it's not the end of the world either. But and they could somehow st try to block something and get blown back by uh, strength of arm. They sacrificed a clue, which I guess is fine. Do they have another counter spell? They don't really tend to get better in multiples. No, I just don't. I, I I don't think it's very likely that they have another counter spell on Italy at this point. And I'd rather have this onto the battlefield than the Qatar. If they do, it's very annoying. But it seems oh they do. 
Alright, never mind, I was wrong. It seemed so unlikely because sure you have thing in the eyes, but those tend to bet to get so much worse in multiples. I don't know. Whatever. Uh it be what it be, I guess. Uh I think I'll play my builder after vessel so I can try to get value of it. They have a third counter spell. They have the five mana counter spell that gets you clue. What the hell? <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I guess it's good because they are sitting there with their uh, thing in the eye, so to some extent it's pretty good for them. But on the other hand, counter spells are so bad in this extremely aggressive set that I'm not sure if I agree with my open choice there, but again, it, it might just work out very well for them, so... Uh, for now, I get. Oh, they showed they showed the the snapper. Yeah, I'm definitely packing the the second um, uh, humble the brute uh, for uh, next game. Well, <laughs> two of my answer uh, to that thing are gone in the graveyard. Pretty bad, pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so I have no answer to that seven eight now. Almost no answers. Yeah, that cannot be good. If they just have one more thing and can eat me for 13 and then it's just gonna be 7 and I'll be dead. I guess this will bounce back in their hand, so not 13 actually. But the fact that I put my two of my three answer, I think... I guess I have four answer, but two of my four answer to the thing into the graveyard right away, pretty bad. Patrol is not annoying. I don't really care about anything that's not a creature. So I guess that's a good news for me. I do have Delirium, right? Instant... yeah. I will not have Delirium anymore after using the Stoic Builder, though. Hmm. So I think I will actually not... Um, not get back a land, because I'd rather have Delirium than a land that does nothing. Yeah. Instance or yeah, I want that. I want that land into my graveyard to enable the the Reaper. Nope. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. All right. Just have to pray that they don't draw uh, <laughs> instant or sorceries for a bit of time. A seven eight. I don't think I can deal with that, unfortunately. Um, my, I could block and use strength for farm, but the thing is. I don't really want to get them a card, even though I would get rid of the patrol. I just want to make sure they don't draw their last, uh, the last thing they need here. That's you know my main concern at that point. If I put them low enough before they can flip that, um, because of the tenacity, I might be able to raise my the the awaken aurora. It's slightly unlikely though. Especially since if they have a cheap spell to flip that, then, then they can recast uh, both of their creatures. Maybe not both, but a few of their creatures, so doesn't sound too great. Again, I'm willing to take three just so they don't draw uh, an additional card. Alright! Well, that makes things simpler, a lot simpler. That's, that's just great. It just means I will not be threatened by that anymore. That was an amazing top deck. Great, great, great. Yeah, alright. Just making... I think I was... Given that I did not draw their things for a while, I think I was still in a decent shape, but this makes things much simpler for me. Uh, and by the way, it cannot even transform, so they cannot just cast to bounce everything. That would not work. Because of that magnificent cannot transform written on the bound. And I think at this point my opponent is really in trouble and I, at this point I don't really mind giving them another card. So I will probably use my strength of arm. Pressing my uh, reaper for answer. Alright, alright. Fair enough, I guess. Sacrificing the clue. They can attack with the snapper, but... 
they might not, unless they have another blocker. Ooh, Provisioner. Well, I cannot really block that efficiently anymore. Which is a bad news. Ooh. Um, so I guess I can make those trade. My opponent is just dead from this tenacity, though. Uh, yeah, pretty much dead. Yeah, six. They have just one mana, so they could get give that plus one plus one. Yeah, I'm, there's no way I'm dying here. Yeah, Tenacity is gonna win me that game again. <laughs> Alright. Pretty solid card overall. And there's no answer to that at instant speed, so this will be game. Sweet! As the opponent is just pondering, no. All right, we can attack. Sweet. Pretty good Bane Slayer there, alongside some other sweet Life Linker. That's great. All right, and you go down to minus two. All right, that's gonna be game and match. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, again, feel free to leave a like or subscribe. Really appreciated. And I guess I see you guys in a few minutes when those two will be done for round three, the finals. Thank you for watching.